oh, about three months ago, uh, I responded to uh, an idea that I found out about the Bloomberg Initiatives, which was, uh, uh, I looked up on the internet, it was in a couple of speeches that our mayor made about the city getting behind building buildings for musicians, no, for artists to live in, recognizing the fact that there was a severe crisis, that artists were leaving the city in unprecedented numbers because they could no longer afford to stay here. And so this was his, um, his spoken wish to, um, to address that problem. So I thought, well, all right, I'll just write him a letter because it seemed to me that uh, the unique needs of new musicians had never really been addressed. We need buildings that are soundproof. And also I feel that we need to live in buildings where there are in-house performing spaces, preferably a large one and a small one, rehearsal rooms, recording rooms, so that it could be a building that would function for, for our needs. Also, uh, in front we need buildings where we can actually afford to live so that we can live our lives as musicians and not go into the treadmill uh, that, that's held out, held out for us is more and more, that we have to work so hard just to be able to, to pay the ever escalating rents that are going on here. Um, now, I got a letter back, not from the mayor, but from somebody from the housing and, HPD. let's see, HPD, yes. Thank you. And uh, though, though he did not reject my letter out of hand, pretty much a carefully worded letter let me know that this is something I could not really, that we could not really think about uh, in the foreseeable future. So I thought to myself, all right, we can do it. We're resourceful people. We know we are. You have to be a resourceful person just to go down the road as a musician in this world, just to keep yourself on this road. You have inner resources and we are a community. Because we're musicians, it's in the very nature of our art form to be a community. We have resources that we can draw from if we pull together. So I sent out, I sent out an email to that effect, and, and this was about a month ago. Since that time, the response to this very simple email has been uh, astonishing. Uh, for one thing, I, I had the great good fortune of hearing from Pat Patricia, and we, we got together and, and talked and realized that we were traveling on the same path and that there is so much we can do. I also met with Wendy Oxenhorn of Jazz Foundation of America, and she was wonderfully encouraging and, um, and, and suggested that we might be able to uh, work together to, um, to, to, to achieve these objectives and expand them. And since then, I've also had uh, conferences, informal conferences with many other people who have wonderful ideas. Uh, I'm sure that have been presented that you know about already, such as if we have a building, it should be a green building. I had, I had, I've had very wonderful uh, uh, consultations with, with the uh, wonderful Margaret Davis, who ha had the, the incredible, um, to me, great idea of, of concentrating on having made perhaps our first musician run um, to live in, to perform in, and to have community spaces in, perhaps we could, we could look at Harlem for the very first one. Also, we, we're dealing with something that's been touched on before, and we're all very aware of this. The, the false antagonism that's been created between the artists and the people who live in the neighborhoods that artists can afford to live in. It's like the artists come into the neighborhood, and the people who live there, they, they, right away they feel they're going to lose their homes. And uh, we all know about this dynamic. It's very well publicized. And this, this uh, is an artificially created antagonism that we must address. Uh, I don't feel that the city will, or the politicians will. We have to find ways to address this. One of the, uh, one of the things that, I, that I've considered is that in the building where musicians live and perform, we can have areas which are only for the use of the community, for example. I envision a building where there is a room set aside for, for instruction, for musical instruction for the children of the neighborhood. And we could either be funded, or if we can't get funding, perhaps we can find it in our hearts to volunteer our time to give musical instruction to the children in the neighborhoods. 
one of the things that uh, Max Roach told me through the years many, many times, and I'm sure that he's told many of you here, uh, he was very vocal about this. Uh, he felt that, that hip hop uh, uh, evolved the way it did because the children in the neighborhoods could not get musical instruments. There's, was, there, there was and still is plenty of improvisation, but there are no musical instruments, and I feel that this is something that uh, we could address. Uh, we could find ways to either get funding or among ourselves to get some kind of uh, resources to be able to, through this community building, have instruments that these, that these uh, neighborhood children could have with them and, uh, and, and evolve their own music coming from instruments that they have in their homes and that they could bring over to this building for their musical instruction. And uh, we have, we have a, a way of passing on this wonderful music that we were so fortunate to inherit from the, from the ones who've come before us. Um, uh, I, gu I guess that, that, covers, that covers it. Uh, I think that covers it for me for now. I don't know if people have questions, but I am now working on this and um, I'm, I'm, I'm in an outreach phase, consultation and, and uh, investigation and uh, getting ideas together. And anyone who wants to contact me can do so by, by email or by phone. And well, also, if they sign up on the sheet over there for this, they'll we'll give them we'll give you their contact stuff. Like you'll be, I hope that you'll be in charge of this committee, of sure. like the committee of of people working on housing. I mean, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I mean, like I'm just trying to like. Does that sound right sure. to you? The one thing um, I might say is that I, I feel that housing is a bedrock issue. Uh, we all need to perform. Without performance, we can't live as, as musicians. And we need performance spaces. But we cannot have a musical community if musicians can no longer afford to live here. This, we're in a crisis right now, and I think that uh, we artists, we musicians, we must address this. I, I, I agree with William very much that we, we need to see this as a process of self-determination. Yes, we, we, will, we will try to get funding and we will lean on the people who have these uh, sources and, and um, can help us, but we must see this as being self-directed and self-controlled, that we want to be empowered to act in, for ourselves and for the communities that we will be living in. And, and creating our art in, in communication with. Um, I don't know if anyone has questions, but this is the end of my presentation anyway. Thank you, Connie.